It's impossible for words to describe what is necessary to those who do not know what horror means. Horror has a face, and you must make a friend of horror. Look how they mask with my boy. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Yo Jo Jerk Toy Review. I'm your host, Dewey Cox, and I'd like to welcome you back. Today, we'll be going over the G.I. Joe classified Storm Shadow. So let's get right into this and take a look at the packaging. We get the same cheap quality on the retro card. The image looks good on this one. For a quick comparison, and so you could see what I'm talking about, here's a replica vintage Storm Shadow made on the original mold, and they pretty much didn't change that artwork. About the only thing they took away from the artwork is around his belt. They changed the swords. They changed the quiver and bow. But ultimately, you're looking at the original artwork, which I could really appreciate. I think they did a really good job on this one. I think the Zartan is just horrific. Here's a quick look at the back of the card. Down here, we get all of our legal mush. More legal mush. Up here, more figures in the line. Here's a look at the file card if you want to pause it. All right, I'm going to crack this puppy out of the package and we'll take a look at him. So we get our Cobra stand. We get a second level tray that contains the backpack. And over here we get a sword, another sword. We get the bow, the arrow, two extra hands, which is awesome and something they should be doing all the time because this is, this is great. Loving this, loving this. All right, I'm going to get this sucker out of his package. One backpack, sword one, sword two, hand one, hand two, arrow, the bow. And the Storm Shadow. All right, let's take a closer look. Whoa! I don't know if I got a complete miss or the new photoreal tech is horrible because this face is a disaster. <laughs> I grabbed the other Storm Shadow so you could take a look. And holy shit, those eyes look horrible. Looks like he's wearing 10 pounds of eyeliner. Overall, it looks like the same exact figure as the last release, minus that really bad paint job on the head. His uniform looks lighter. They've changed the, you know, padding to wraps, which I really like. On this version, this was attached this time and wasn't set as a extra accessory. His neckerchief comes pre-installed. The skin tone looks a little darker than the original. On the back, pretty much the same thing going on. The wraps look a little different. I got some gap. Oh, my leg just popped off really easy. That ain't cool. All right, it went back in, no problem, but holy cow, look at that gap in there. Oh, I got a QC Ninja, that's what I got. All right, let's go over these accessories. First up, we get the arrow. It's not much different. Uh, it's got silver paint on the end. The tip or the feathers on the end are white. We get a fisted hand. There's the peg on that, if you want to take a look. Over here, we have a ninja star hand. And if you look, this is a brand new hand. This is a brand new sculpt included. Uh, the ninja star is the same kind. That uh, is on his belt. So you can see the design is there. Also, I'm very happy that they're starting to include extra hands in this line. Next up, we have his short sword, which looks exactly like the previous releases. Over here, we have his backpack. It looks just like the one from the other release. 
We got different paint app here. It's the white feathers. Oh man, over here if you look, this thing just looks awful. Like on the other one, this part is like super smooth. This one's like all crunched in. Yeah, it does not look good. Like, the surfaces do not look clean on this. Like, this wasn't a clean pour on the part. Right here, we have his long sword. Also, same as last release. It has the little snake on the handle. Over here, we have his compound bow. Same deal. It is the same exact bow from the other release. It just has a different paint app. It's white instead of the red. And last up. We have the crappy Cobra base. All right, let's go over articulation. Pinless arms go all the way up. They go out. Bicep swivel. Over here, he's got movement above the bandage. The right hand has up and down hinge and twists completely around. Butterfly joint moves back and forth real nice. Arm can do a 360. Down at the foot, we get a good up and down motion. Pretty good tilt. Pinless knees go all the way back. Down here at the wrap, his leg goes all the way around. The knee plastic and the leg plastic are a little off color. Up here, we have thigh swivel. Over here, drop down hips. They're working pretty good. They're actually not loose. Cut at the waist. Little bit of rotation there. At the diaphragm, he goes all the way back. And he goes all the way forward. And at these goofy eyes that won't stop staring at me. The head is actually a lot tighter on this version than previous versions. My other one is like a bobble head. This one actually has a very tight head. His neck does go side to side. Head goes up and down. And he can do the weird wiggle. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. He can't stop looking at you. So let's do a comparison on these guys. I'm gonna bring up the OG Storm Shadow. Right here we can see that the boots are not painted on this one. Down here we got a little black. Over here on the wraps on the legs, it looks like it's the same color plastic, but they actually did put like a white wash on these. And these ones were just left alone. Pretty much from the knees all the way up to the waist, they are completely the same. The belts are the same. Even here on the chest harness, the paint is pretty much the same. This buckle's a little duller while these share the same paint. Cobra symbols look exact. I'm not even gonna go over those eyes because you saw it earlier. This guy's just got way too much mascara and a wandering eye. But the real difference is in the hands. Nothing really different in the head other than the pain apps. And, and overall, the newer Storm Shadow, the retro carded one, the white is just like electric white where this is just the hair duller. Let's bring up Arctic Mission Storm Shadow so we can take a look at him next to everybody. Now, there's, there's one thing that's pretty consistent among the three is that the eyes really do, even with the crappy paint here, they all really do look like the same character. I mean, not, not really him, just they screwed up the eyes, but it's the same sculpt. They pretty much nailed it across all three figures. And just for fun, I'm gonna bring my uh, Foosh Storm Shadow to the game. I, I kit-bashed him. There's an arm kit from Foosh where you can get these bare arms. I got a water slide for his chest. I love this guy. He was my fill-in for like ever. He's gonna remain on my shelf because back in the day, we only had Arctic Mission Storm Shadow and my hot dog peddling in the trash can, dirty hot dog water storm shadow from the movie. Let's get Mr. Foosh Ninja out of here. And speaking of dirty hot dog water, let's get this boy up for a comparison since we're doing all the storm shadows. Oh, yeah, he can't get out of his dumpster. He's too busy eating hot dogs. But there he is, ladies and gentlemen, in all his disgusting hot dog water glory. 
But oddly enough, somebody's got better painted eyes. So if you thought your trash storm shadow was garbage. For a size comparison, here we have him with the retro carded Zartan. Here we have him with the NECA alien Brent. Get these out of here. Here we have him next to the Marvel Legends Iron Man from the two pack. Here we have him with a kit bash G.I. Joe classified Mr. T. Get these out of here. Next up, we have the Marvel Legends Doctor Strange that I kit bashed together. Here we have the Mattel Dusty Rhodes The American Dream. Let me get those out of here. Here we have the Marvel Legends Daredevil from the three pack. And here we have them next to the G.I. Joe classified beachhead. Let me get these out of here. So my final thoughts on this figure are if you missed out on the original releases, he's a totally good fill in. I'm 90% sure that the terrible eye paint that I got is just a miss. I hope. I really like the ultra white on him. It's really good. The extra hands are totally worth the purchase. Yeah, there's there's QC, but uh, the leg popped back in. And I mean, when I was trying to pose him, it keeps falling out. But that's nothing I can't, you know, live with. It's a little bit of a bummer that he didn't come with the extra hood. But like I said, I would trade the hood for hands any day. And again, if all the heads end up being screwy like this one, you can always just pop this head off and throw it on there. But I think having both versions each have their advantages. So until next time, people, I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next review.